We're entering uh, Senator Isidore Hall's office of California. He is the author of a resolution calling Donald Trump on falsely for hate speech. We're going in now. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Is Mr. Hall in today? Um, he's currently in committee. Is he in the office here? Or? He's in committee. He's in committee. So he's not in the bill? He's not here. No. Can I help you with something? Uh, yes. Do you have a deputy or somebody in charge when he's not here that we can speak to? Yeah. Did you have a, a card or some can information? Can you please stop video? Thank you. Can you please stop video? I won't. I'll just videotape our people. I will not put okay, the camera. Can you not video? Right. We can go ahead. We can, just because it's a large group, I'd be happy to be with you out in the, in the hallway. Right. We just don't have space That's in here. That's fine. For a second. In the hallway is yeah. great. Okay. Thank you. Can you please stop video? Okay. Uh, we got a message mm -hmm. here for him. A staff member has agreed to come out and speak to us. Oh, okay. Hi. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, my Morning, name is everyone. Morning. 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 Uh, my name is uh, Chanel, and uh, I'm one of the organizations represented today. And the name of the organization I'm representing is. Lost American Network. I'm from the black community, and right now we feel that we're not being represented. Now, we have seen sketches, we have seen videos, call, calling, other organizations out there that's predominantly white, racist. And we would like to send a message to him. We feel that he's not representing the black community, therefore we feel that he is racist, okay? He's not Amen representing to that. Unemployment in the black community is up to 70%. Blacks are banned from being jobs with the county, with the city, even with the state. And we want to know why black politicians like him have turned their back on the black community. We want to know why politicians like him are sitting up here and supporting mass immigration, which takes away jobs from the black community, mass immigration, which takes away benefits, medical and housing, I'm homeless. I paid into the system for decades, but now I'm not eligible because I'm a black American citizen and I'm not part of that mass immigration crowd and it is unfair. Could you give him the message? He's being paid with taxpayers' money to represent American citizens regardless of the color of their skin. And I just want to tell him, a real man, a real man is Donald Trump. Representing all nationalities. That's a shame that Donald Trump has to step up and help Mr. Hall do his job. So could you give him that message? Yeah, then the okay. thing on uh, the SB That's a real man. 39, you guys quoted, uh, you, you have some kind of a, what is it called? Resolution. Resolution. Where you said that Donald Trump and uh, Ted Cruz said that the illegals coming across the border were criminals, rapists, and whatnot. And uh, that was misquoted, so I'm sure you guys didn't fa do a fax check on it, because I know what he said, and he did not say that, and neither did Ted Cruz. So we know. say that? No, he did the, not. And the Ted Cruz link was actually taken off of Senator Cruz's own website. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, so you took a fax check on that? Out From Senator context, Cruz's own Senate website. He said, he said I, I don't believe it. I really okay, don't well, believe it. Okay, well, that's illegal. your choice. And I, I want to thank you all for, for coming today and sharing your Oh, you're so concern. welcome. I, I really do mean that, I'm sincerely. Sure. I really do. Yes. Um, just and how are you going to act on what we're sharing I, I, I'm, with you? I'm going to share with you a couple things. One, um, you know, we are a nation of, of immigrants, people. We're a all nation all of immigrants. Right. They are they illegal. They're right. illegal right. in this country. No, illegal. Legal. 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 That there are no state laws that prohibit African Americans from accessing any type of government assistance, and the fact that we, whether it be jobs or otherwise, but you're not upholding those there, laws. There is no law. We do that have a constitution. You're not upholding those laws. I put in for. I have my paperwork, my documentation. I put in for three jobs with the county. Mm -hmm. I have my degrees and everything, and I was declined and called racist because I approached them about why am I qualified? Why can't I get a job? Also, I applied for a job at McDonald's. And I was told that they did not hire blacks. I filed with EEOC. EEOC ruled in my favor, but would not do anything. 
So they know that it's going on. Yes, you have laws, but you are not respecting those laws, just like the immigration laws. You're not following the immigration laws, federal right. or state. You're not. The unemployment for blacks is still 70%. All the restaurants, all the jobs out there you go there, it's Latinos. All the medical places, it's 70% Latino. I called in from up under Obamacare to get help, assistance. When I signed up with Obamacare, the lady asked me, was I African American? What does the color of my skin have to do with me getting Obamacare? Right. It's out there. And then you guys stand here and pretend like it don't exist. Or our laws say, you need to follow the laws. Right. Enforce the law. Enforce the laws. And we're not going to change the law. We and we're not a nation of immigrants. We're, we are a nation of colonists first. And we allowed legal immigration to come legal. after. Yes. Legal. yes. So let's get that straight. So question. for you to allow <coughs> hundreds of thousands of illegals to come into the black community, you're actually you screw, excuse my language, you're screwing these people. Yes. I, I think, and I, 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 think I, hear, I know you, I think you're yeah, fundamentally I incorrect. I think you're fundamentally wrong. And I think we're just going to have to agree to disagree. I, I think, think, you know, I think that, well, you know, that I think unfortunately you are. what some individuals attempt to do is try to create um, a division between the Latino and African American. And you know, I think you're a liar. And the reality is, is that the African American and Latino to come to his district. I live in Hartford. Have Paul to come out here and go to the I think they're lying. I think they're lying about SB 39 too. The only thing that the Latino community has in common with the black community is you made them slaves in Mexico and South America. Thank you. Chanel, do you have a comment on the fact that Chanel? I'm trying to have a, a civilized conversation, so I appreciate it. Do you, do you have a comment on the Thank fact you. that Chanel lost her last job because she Never. couldn't speak Spanish? They told me I did that. They told me, they terminated me. It was on a Thursday. They came to me because they were hiring illegal aliens. I was the bookkeeper there. They terminated me and told me because I did not speak Spanish that they no longer needed me there. I ended, I, they ended my uh, job there. I lost everything. I lost my place where I was staying in. I lost my possession of my belongings. I ended up homeless. On top of that, my eye, I have lost my eyesight. Because of mass immigration, I had to wait in line two years to get a doctor's appointment. In the meantime, I lost my sight. And that's not right. I paid into the system for decades. California State. And when I needed help, I'm told no. I went to government agencies. Nobody would help me. What is your answer to that? And I'm not the only one out there that's going through this. There's a lot of homeless black people. And now with mass immigration, they come over here, you build and build they get the housing. That's right. That's here is right. response. That's right. unfair. That's here is again, again, I think there's just, there's an unfortunate, um, uh, you know, your, your specific circumstance is unfortunate. And if, if you were discriminated against, then you have the absolute right for redress. Uh, uh, but I think the bigger issue is that unfortunately you're taking individual circumstances. I need to I, 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 wait a minute. I need to remind you that English I need to remind you that I answer your question. I need to remind you that English is the national language of this state. It's not Spanish. Yes, it is in the state constitution. In the state constitution. You need to know that. Unfortunately, I don't think this is being a very productive conversation since I can't answer your questions. So if you have any additional written information, I'd be happy to take that from you. And I thank you all for your time today.